Hi everybody, welcome to Raj Tech India. This video is about how many times you can withdraw your EPF advance amount. I have prepared this simple table by observing this table. You can know for each reason how many times you can withdraw your EPF advance amount and the minimum service required and the maximum advance withdrawal limit. See first we will see illness as a reason. There is no withdrawal limit if you withdraw your EPF advance amount if your reason is illness. See under this reason you can withdraw your advance amount for yourself or your dependents like your spouse or your father or mother or your children. For them uh, whenever they need any medical emergency or medical requirements then you can withdraw uh, EPF advance amount for illness as a reason and there is no need of minimum service also. And the maximum advance amount you can get uh, as an illness as a reason is 6 times of your employee basic wage or employee PF contribution whichever is less. And the second reason is for construction of the house. The maximum withdrawal limit is one time and minimum service required is 5 years that means uh, 60 months you need to pay EPF contribution for at least 5 years. And the maximum advance amount is 36 times of your monthly wage. Here the monthly wage means your monthly basic wage. And for if you want to purchase a land then you can get 24 times of monthly wage that was not mentioned in this table but uh, if you want to purchase a land then you can get 24 times of your monthly wage. And the third reason is marriage of self or family member like brother or sister or son or daughter. In that case the maximum withdrawal limit is 3 times and minimum service required to become eligible to withdraw advance amount for this reason is 7 years. That means at least for 84 months you need to pay EPF contribution. And the maximum advance amount under this reason is 50% of the employee share. And the fourth reason is higher education of self or family member like brother, sister, son or daughter. Here also the maximum withdrawal limit is 3 times and minimum service required is 7 years and the maximum advance withdrawal amount is 50% of the employee share. And for no work during the power cut, sometimes employees don't get their wages due to the power cut because during power cuts some factors don't work. In that case, employees can get their one month basic wage uh, as a EPF advance amount and the maximum withdrawal limit is only one time and there is no, no minimum services required to withdraw EPF advance under this reason. And finally, this is for the physically handicapped persons to purchase their physically handicapped equipment. The maximum withdrawal limit to withdraw EPF advance amount under this reason is first time you can withdraw your EPF advance amount whenever you require it, and the next time you need to wait for at least 3 years. See here you can clearly see that no second advance until 3 years from the date of lost advance payment. So once you get your EPF advance amount under this reason, you need to wait for at least 3 years to get the second advance amount. And there is no minimum service is also required. And the maximum advance amount you can get under this reason is 6 times of employee basic wage or employee PF contribution. Whichever is less, you can get that amount. It is same for illness reason also. So these are the uh, main reasons that most of the employees withdraw EPF advance amount. I hope. You like this video and if you have any doubts then please ask your queries in below comment section and thank you if you like this video please share and subscribe to rajtech india